<clears throat> uh, where do I start? I have two traditions when it comes to birthdays. The first is to buy shoes. And this year's shoes have a sensible wedge heel with a peekaboo toe. On the outside, they're a deep plush scarlet red. And because it's a big birthday, I match the shoes with my black chiffon dress and double string of pearls. Pearls that have accompanied me to all manner of places, from lunch with Mrs. Gandhi, to tea at Buckingham Palace, to this little place here in San Francisco, where I really must get round to replacing the broken glass in my full length mirror. I climb onto the ledge of the bath and I hold firmly to the edge of the door to balance. This way, I can see both the shoes and the dress in the bathroom mirror. And I can imagine right there where I place the palm of my hand, the spot for a tattoo. For this is my second tradition, to do something new and daring with each passing year. Last year, it was scuba diving, and the year before, learning to swim. This year, it's the tattoo, and it's not just the fact of getting a tattoo, but it's where I intend to have it done that thrills me. I've decided that something on the wrist or the ankle would be too ordinary. And what color would look good? You know, my bakery friend has a Chinese dragon that spreads across her back with its feet perched on her thigh. She showed it to me unprompted one day and explained how it represented her family's heritage. <clears throat> 